Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you two really cool trim line telephones and these are Elizabeth's telephones from Florida. And she's got a note here and uh, she's talking about the orange telephone and we have that apart this is the initial checkout and she's talking about how uh, the number one button does not work and then she says the blue phone uh, quits working after about the fifth number dialed and uh, she says of course the uh, volume control doesn't work and the other people on the other end cannot hear their conversation and so uh, we're in the middle here of an initial checkout and uh, we have the orange telephone apart and it's a really cool telephone nice color both are nice very nice colors we have this telephone apart and we have the keypad out and I'm going to go ahead and remove the number plate and so basically what it comes down to is I'm going to show you when I press number one if you hold it a certain way what happens is I'm pressing number one right now this array of finger contacts should be moving and they will move sometimes so the number one will dial sometimes but for the most part it doesn't it doesn't move the finger contacts properly so, and if you watch, I'll press a, a 2, see how they, they move over to the left, and then I'll press a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0, star and pound, and then back to a 2. And if I go to the 1, they move somewhat, but not enough. And so basically what that comes down to is the linkage there is linkage rods inside this keypad that create a situation where it moves everything around. I'm pushing number one now and it just is not making its contact like this on a two would or a three and now I'm back to one and half the time it doesn't hit the contacts properly. So now what we have to do is we have to take this keypad apart and if you've never taken one of these apart and uh, looked into the linkage that's inside you probably don't want to. Uh, there's quite a bit to it and uh, there's linkage rods that run from every number because this is a manual keypad and so it's probably not a good idea to take this apart if, if you're not experienced in doing so because the linkage rods are going to fall out and, and other parts will fall out uh, when you're trying to work on it. So we're going to go ahead and, and go into this keypad and, and work on that situation. This is the actual inside of the telephone. If you've never seen one of these trim lines of this age taken apart. Now on the blue telephone, we've been through this blue telephone and yes it does have a volume control here this was one of the last good trim lines they made and that loud kind of a low medium and loud this uh, volume control does not work and the numbers are all kind of messed up sometimes they dial sometimes they don't and there is no transmit so we're just in the uh, process of uh, the initial checkout and what we're going to do now is we're going to take a short break from the video and we're going to troubleshoot these telephones and go into the keypad of the orange telephone and repair that and then we're going to have to get over to the blue telephone and take it apart and troubleshoot uh, no volume on the receive uh, no volume switch up and down and no dialing or improper dialing and no transmit so we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And so what we've done here with the orange uh, telephone, 
this trim line has been repaired and so if you watch the analyzer what we're going to do is a couple of final checks here on it I'm going to go ahead and dial the number and I'm going to end in a 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and dial the 1 and I'm going to dial 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. So we know that this telephone has been repaired and we went into the keypad and took care of the problem. So what we want to do now is we want to move over to the blue one and I want to get our line cord here. And Elizabeth uh, had some things written in the note that she sent along with the telephones about how the blue one, uh, the volume control did not work. It didn't go up and down uh, in volume when you move the button. The numbers were uh, a little uh, not working properly and also the transmit, nobody could hear her. So I want to give you some dial tone. And when I move the switch, it does not change the volume. And then we'll try to dial some numbers if you watch the analyzer. We'll start over. One didn't uh, register at first. We'll start over. I just hit the one and it didn't register. Seems like it doesn't register on the first time you try to dial it. I'm going to end in a two. But now I want to speak into the, uh, I want to transmit. And if you don't see a red light here, that means uh, there's no transmit. This red light should light. And so we know we don't have any transmit. So what we're going to do is we're going to start working on this telephone here. And what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and take it apart here real quick. And then we'll start our troubleshooting process on the main PC board. And that gives you a look at the inside of this telephone. We're going to go ahead and pull the main board up. Now I'm assuming that something has been spilled into this telephone, but we have multiple problems because it's not only not dialing right, it doesn't have any transmit, and the volume control here is not working. So there's going to be multiple problems with this telephone. That kind of gives you a look at what's going on on the inside and what it looks like and how it's made. So what we need to do now is uh, we're going to take a short break from the video and uh, we're going to start the troubleshooting process on this telephone and uh, get uh, Elizabeth straightened out on this one. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we have finished up with the uh, blue trim line. Uh, we repaired the volume control, the low, medium, and high control. We also repaired the mic issue where it wasn't transmitting and we repaired the dialing issue. So now what we want to do is some final checks. And I'm going to go ahead and ring the telephone. I'll let that go one more time. I'm going to give
give you some dial tone. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the switch back and forth. I'm going to go all the way to low, medium, high. Back down to low, medium, and high. Now what we want to do is I want to dial some numbers. So if you watch the analyzer, we'll walk through our numbers. I'm going to end in a 2. I'm going to hit redial. And that's going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch this red light here on the analyzer, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is dialing out now. It has redial, and I want to hit mute while I'm talking, and that'll make the light go out on the analyzer. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm holding the mute button right now, and I'm going to let it go, and you can see the light comes back on. So we know everything is working on this telephone now. We want to move it over to a regular line, and I'm going to call a time and temp number, Houston dial tone. Good afternoon. Shop online anytime at Offenberg.com. A short drive to great value. Today is Thursday, July 26th. The time is 311. Current temperature 100 degrees. Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Partly cloudy tonight, an isolated shower, thunderstorm, lows in the low 70s, sunny and hot on Friday, a high in the upper 90s. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to call my other shop, which is a long distance number, so we know that there's going to be a 1 involved in that number. Here's some dial tone. It's going to be an answering machine that you're going to get. I told them not to answer the phone there. Thank you for calling A1 Telephone and A1 Electronics. Please leave your message. We will return your call as soon as possible. Or you may call our other location at Okay, so we know that call went through. I'm going to call my number, which will be busy. And now we can call time and temp one more time.
now what we can do is move the telephone over to a regular line, give you some dial tone, we'll call time and temp, again and that is a long distance number so we know we have to dial a one and the blue phone may be just a slightly bit louder than the orange phone because the blue phone has an amplification stage in the receiver so now we'll call my other shop one more time. I'm going to end in a two, but I'm going to dial a one. I'm going to go to two, one, two, one, two, one, and back to two. So we know that this telephone is working now. Number one button on the keypad is always responding. So these are uh, two really cool telephones. Elizabeth has this uh, blue telephone which was one of the last AT&T trim lines uh, the good ones made and then she has a vintage orange telephone in the trim line model and uh, just two very nice telephones and with great colors. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics, you can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.